was there a a threat on your life or you know <laughs> <laughs> uh no there was there was but there there was a a a threat to my uh, to my manhood more than anything else <laughs> i got going because of of a dare Podcast by Friday with Bill Griggs and Kingsley Grant. We help people to create their minimal viable podcast by taking bold action to defeat procrastination and to get their voices heard. Strange things can happen when you accept a dare. You find yourself doing things you thought you couldn't. You discover that limits are meant to be pushed. And the bold, swift action can be a real game changer. I got going because of, of a dare. So we're, I, I was at the podcast um, movement conference uh, in uh, Fort Worth, Texas in uh, 2015. And um, I decided to step outside of my comfort zone earlier in the day and, and, and go down and actually talk to people because I'm, I'm kind of introverted and uh, I don't drink. So I never hang out in bars. But uh, when I went down there to the, to the bar, I walked up to a, a group of guys who were obviously there for the podcast and said, hello, hi, I'm Bill. And, uh, you know, started conversations with him. And uh, one of the guys that was there was Matt Miller. And, uh, you know, he's been a guest on um, your uh, other podcast, the, the, um, mm-hmm midlife launch. Um, and Matt was in the same situation as I was. He had all the equipment to, to do a podcast, but he didn't have, um, you know, and he'd even recorded some episodes too. Um, but he never launched it. And, uh, I had recorded one or two test episodes. And so, you know, we sat there talking to each other and towards the end of the day, Matt reaches over and he says, you know what? We need to stop this. Mm -hmm. He says, I dare you to launch your podcast by Friday. And I'll do the same. And uh, I looked over at him and I looked him in the eye and I accepted his dare, stuck stuck out my hand. And, uh, you know, there it was. We said we would both launch our podcast by Friday. And uh, that was a a pretty tight schedule because... when we left the conference, it was two, uh, you know, I got home on Tuesday. So, wow. So I had to go out and, con- you know, conceive how the show was going to go, set up my website, uh, do all of those things and, and put up the uh, podcast by that Friday. And I just squeaked in under, under the, uh, <laughs> you know, under the limit. Cause it, it was like, uh, 1150 or something when I posted the podcast and Matt had done his earlier in the day. So that even added to it. Oh, wow. Some yeah. Pressure. Yeah. Wow. So, but, but so you had an idea though, of the steps you were going to be taking once you got home to get that podcast up and by Friday. Well, <laughs> um, I had a, a vague idea, but this was before the conference had started. And one of the reasons okay. I went to the conference was to get some of that was to get some of that information. So I, I was fortunate. I happened to be in a class that Joel Bogus, uh, uh, Dr. Pei Kang, and uh, Russ John were teaching on how to launch your podcast to number one in uh, iTunes New and Noteworthy. Dares are usually easier when you do them together with someone, whether it's an accountability partner or just a friend at a bar, somebody you just met, or a crowd of other people. There's strength in numbers. You and I are fortunate because we, we, you know, we're accountability partners. We're, we're part, you know, partners on this podcast, co-hosts and everything. But not everybody has that. And, you know, trying to find somebody who is like-minded, somebody that's got the same thought process going on as, as you, uh, is really helpful. Because, I mean, when I talk to you, Kingsley, I'm... I'm always flooded with new ideas that I wouldn't have thought of otherwise. And, you know, you, you push me and, and, and I hope I push you. And, yes, and, you do. How we first met was in a group. 
that we first met and mm -hmm. have um, developed that relationship because we get the podcast movement. So that group was a, a conference. Mm -hmm. And so we met there and then um, took that relationship beyond and just developed that relationship. And so it's important that as you know, you're thinking about their new podcast, I would just say a very good goal is to find, as you describe, a kind of a, somebody who can actually come alongside and encourage and push you and, and just also hold, you know, hold you accountable, but also, you know, be a cheerleader along the way. It, it was more than just being at the conference. Uh, I mean, we were also in, in an online group together. Yes, yes, yeah. Uh, I think you actually reached out to me um, first uh, when I made a comment or something and you said something, I, you might have sent me a, a, yeah. uh, yeah. a friend request. I don't, I don't remember exactly how it worked out, but, uh, yeah. you know, I kept it in the back of my mind and then, you know, I saw you speaking up and, and responding to different things that people were doing and I said, oh, this is really cool. Maybe I, I got to meet uh, Kingsley Grant. And so I made it one of my goals when I got to the podcast yeah. movement to track you down and, you know, try and at least say hello. I think this is such a cool thing because um, we basically, again, is having that um, initial point of entry, mm -hmm. which was the Facebook group and then the podcast uh, movement in 2015. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, you know, it of course has developed where we have these weekly calls, but I think that you know, a person who wants to get their podcast up by Friday, are they looking at okay? Well, what are the? Do I need to have all these things? Do I have to have the equipment? You know, do I need to buy this gigantic software or this gigantic microphone or this expensive microphone or this? You know, all these different things. Are yeah, I'm going to add them at one time. Where do they start? You know, that's that's what um sometimes they're struggling with. You know. Yeah, and the truth is, you don't have to do any of those things. I mean, you get better quality podcast by having better quality equipment and knowing how to use it. But the reality is you can be doing a podcast on your cell phone, mm -hmm. you know, if you have to. And they've got some great mics. Um, yeah. You know, we saw some some really cool mics by Shure and Samson mm -hmm. and, you know, Audio Technica yeah. and everything. And none of them were, were over 100 bucks. Right. It's not a big deal, you know, the equipment. Yeah. Um, right off. Don't get me wrong. You sound better with a high LPR yeah. forty or, a, yeah. <laughs> or yeah. you know, then 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 you will with the 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 uh, microphone on your iPhone. Yeah. But you sound pretty good with the microphone on your iPhone. 